David Tafuri, a former State Department official who has been in touch with Syrian opposition leaders about those airstrikes. David, what is their reaction? Well, to be honest, they're um, quite happy and relieved that this has happened, but also surprised. You know, this has been a stunning turn of events. Uh, you know, 24 hours ago, the world was very different than it is today. Um, no one really thought this was going to happen. Of course, they've been hopeful for a long time that the U U.S. would take some action. I think it's going to be very impactful. It's going to make a difference. This is a really important action by Trump. And Trump is a really unlikely proponent of using military force for humanitarian purposes. But that's exactly what happened here. You can only justify this military action on the grounds of stopping war crimes and atrocities, crimes against humanity, the types of things that the UN doctrine, the responsibility to, pr to protect, calls for states to do. Now, the U.S. has done this unilaterally without the backing of the UN, without even the backing of our allies. But it's a strong move. It's a good move. It's going to make a difference in Syria, and I'll bet you that Assad did not expect this. He had probably come to think that the West would never hold him accountable for his actions. So this is an important change in the Syrian opposition, and I'm sure many Syrians uh, in Syria and uh, the Syrian diaspora are very happy about it. But does it significantly weaken him? I mean, as long as he's got the Russians and the, uh, the Iranians propping him up, this doesn't affect his hold on power in any serious way, does it? I don't think this has seriously weakened his military power. We've taken out one military base, but he is now left with the question of what comes next and what will the U.S. do the next time I use chemical weapons or the next time I use barrel bombs or the next time I attack a town full of civilians and have lots of, um, uh, you know, civilian deaths. And he has to now worry about that. Whereas up until yesterday, I think he truly believed he would never be held accountable. So this really changes the dynamic in Syria. And that's really important. Now, uh, you heard Nikki Haley give a really good speech, a really important speech, justifying why the U.S. did that, this. And then she talked about what's next. And she pushed for a political resolution to this. She also was very strong in in stating that Russia and Iran have some culpability for this as well. All three parties, Assad, Iran, and Russia, have to be brought to the table to find a political solution. This small military strike isn't going to cause on its own, but all three countries now have to worry what is the U.S. going to do if they do not come up with a resolution soon. Interesting that uh, you are a former uh, campaign advisor, foreign policy campaign advisor for the Obama campaign, and you've been arguing for this kind of action uh, against uh, the Syrian regime for some five years now. David Tafuri, also a former State Department official.